Welcome to Follow the Bible Ministries. We want to encourage you to read and follow the Bible, which is the Holy Word of God. During this program, we will examine some verses from the Bible, praying they will help you trust the Bible. Our Bible teacher is David Hoff. And now, for our study. Welcome to our Bible study. We're going to take a break from our present series for a few weeks and two weeks and talk about Christmas. Actually, we're going to talk about the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ when he was born in Bethlehem as a baby about 2,000 years ago. The Bible is divided into two parts. The first part is the Old Testament, which contains about 75% of the writings of the Bible. The Old Testament was finished about 400 years B.C. That is about 400 years before the Lord Jesus was born as a baby. The other part of the Bible is the New Testament, which describes the coming of Christ and how the gospel started to go out into Turkey and parts of Europe during the first century. In our Christmas study, we're going to look at both parts of the Bible, both the Old Testament and the New Testament, because both the Old Testament and New Testament are focused upon the Lord Jesus Christ. One of the ways that we can know that the Bible is from God is because we read prophecies about the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. These prophecies were written hundreds of years before the Lord Jesus Christ was born as a baby. Yet they tell us... ...tell us ahead of time specific details about the future. In this study, we're going to look at some of these passages and their fulfillment in the New Testament. Then in the next study, we're going to continue to look at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The first prophecy that we'll look at is in the book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah is a large book in the Old Testament with 66 chapters. The prophet Isaiah lived about 700 years B.C., and God guided his writing so that what he wrote was exactly what God wanted us to know. We read a very specific prophecy concerning the Lord Jesus Christ in the book of Isaiah in chapter 7 and verse 14. We read there, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. 